Hello and welcome to the Park Plaza Hotel in Westminster for the Federation of Master Builders Awards 2013. The awards this year are being hosted by television presenter and architect George Clark and it's a bit like the Oscars of the building world really. A chance to celebrate some of the finest work that's been carried out in the past year. It raises the standards in the game um, and, and it's also rec clients recognising the builders as well. You know, it's not just the industry, it's the clients who have put their builders forward for this award, which is brilliant. And Today's our big Master Builder of the Year awards. Uh, it's a great chance to celebrate the very best in British building and building industry and we're really delighted that so many people have that opportunity to demonstrate the excellence that goes on across our building industry in the UK. The first category is the awards for new homes. This category is open to small builders demonstrating a strong commitment to building quality new homes and always attracts a wide range of entries. This year is no exception. The judges were presented with both traditional and contemporary designs, with grand houses and quirky cottages, with period styling and sustainable construction. Eleven very different projects from different parts of the country, but all by outstanding builders. Mark and Neil, would you like to announce the winner? The winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year New Homes Award for a fabulous beachfront home built for Lynn and Adrian Sprossen is... MGS Building and Electrical Contractors. Come on down. Could John Saint of MGS Building and Electrical please come to the stage with Lynn and Adrian to receive the award, please. The winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year New Homes category is MGS Building and Electrical Contractors Limited for Lighthouse 65, a fabulous beachfront home built for Lynn and Adrian Sproson. The Sprosons approached 14 builders to create their home, but only MGS Building and Electrical Contractors provided a quote. A major landslide closed the road to their site for 18 months, which made building a massive task. From the start, MGS had to adapt the architect's plans and increase the amount of piling required. This was the hardest part of the job. With the road closed, they had to deliver materials across the beach at low tide. Everything on the build was unconventional, but when problems arose, MGS never complained. They just dealt with the difficulties and got on with the job. It's built a little bit, so it's just fabulous. Yeah, and it's lovely for John who's done this fabulous job to actually have somebody say you've done a fabulous job, you know. <laughs> yes, good. I'm over the moon, over the moon. Couldn't have wished to work for better people. <laughs> and what does this sort of thing mean to your business, really? Well, I've never advertised in the past, but I think I might on the back end. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Small Renovation Projects Award for a three-storey extension for Anne Laker and family is Thorn Homes Limited. Anne Laker lived in a house she didn't like for almost 10 years before she was finally in a position to create the spacious home she really wanted for her growing family. Getting it right the first time was important and that meant choosing the right builder. To win the award is, um, yeah, is a good achievement for us for, for, for as long as we've been going, yeah. Do you expect the award to be won today though? No, I didn't expect the award, especially because it was a small building project, you know, I expected the really, you know, the bigger ones. But uh, yeah, it was great to win it. The winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Medium Renovation Project Award for restoring the missing jetted bay to Richard and Tricia Stileman's Grade 2 listed home is Hallway Construction. Richard and Tricia Stileman's Grade 2 listed Pentish Hall House has a fascinating history spanning 600 years. Originally built in oak structure for the four bays or sections, at some stage the southern bay had been lost, giving the house a lopsided appearance. Do you expect it to be an award-winning project then? No. <laughs> Are you optimistic about building in this country in general? The future of it, in the current climate? Um, we, we find lots of work and we keep moving forward, so I think there's work out there. Um, it, it, 
Yeah, hit the best. We can do a good job. Yeah, we've got, we've got lots of work in front. The winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Large Renovation Project Award for transforming a small bungalow into a spacious home with stunning views for Carol and Graham Taylor is 3W Development Limited. Many congratulations to 3W Developments and the client. Come to the stage, please. Go. Carol and Graham Taylor inherited his father's oak frame dormer bungalow with only two bedrooms and it wasn't practical for family life, but the spectacular views over the Team Valley made this the perfect location for their forever home. Thanks. So the winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Commercial Award for the restoration of Delston Castle to create a world-class visitor centre the Jurassic Coast is Greendale Construction. Will directors Rob Hooker, okay, Chris Kane and the Greendale team please come to the stage with your client David Crudgenkins of Dorset County Council. It is fitting that a castle built by Victorian master builder George Burke should be brought back to life by the 21st century master builders Greendale Construction Limited. Dorset Council acquired the castle around the same time that the Jurassic Coast was declared a World Heritage Site thrilled. It's really wonderful for the company to have won this award. Really proud of the project and we thank um, David for nominating us. It was wonderful to work with them, I mean all of them. Obviously this is just a small snapshot of the company that we work with. It was a really difficult job and an incredibly exposed location. The weather was horrible a lot of the time <laughs> and these, particularly these two, Chrissy and Rob, Rob, Rob they actually were so involved with the job and Rob was down on site all the time helping out. So it was, it was a privilege and a pleasure to work with them. Thank you, George. So the winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Energy Efficiency Award for the design and build of Northern Ireland's first certified passive house for client Violet Crosby is Moffat and Robinson Construction. And William Moffat, please come to the stage of Violet Crosby, the clients. Can we collect your award? Violet Crosby appointed Moffat Robinson Construction to build a home for her retirement. Comfort, energy efficiency and a finished house that looked plain and traditional topped her list of requirements. The finished bungalow looks traditional and energy consumption is practically zero. And I'm really thankful to my client here. She gave me every opportunity to do as we wanted. Uh, all the ideas that we had that we put in place um, we never would have got the opportunity if it hadn't have been for our client here, Mr. Crosby. The winner of the 11th Master Builder of the Year Heavenly Builder Award for exceptional attention to detail and first class customer service while extending Ian and Susan Wilbur's B&B is Michael Gaffney of M. Gaffney and Sons. Michael, come to the stage please with your clients if you can. Ian and Susan Wilbur chose Michael Gaffney for his expert skills in stonemasonry to replace an outdated conservatory used as a dining room for their bed and breakfast business. Because from the word go, we just didn't have a problem in sort of trusting everything to him. Because the work he's done work for us before, we were happy with the work he'd done before, and he was just, he kept us informed all the way along. We made changes which he just like did bat an eyelid about and it was just, he was just heavenly. Is that something you gents have been described as very often in the past? No, not very often. <laughs> many, many a thing we've been called but not heavenly. <laughs> Seriously though, that's been rather ah, nice. it's, a, it's a great honour to get this uh, award like I mean we're doing this day in and day out but for somebody to actually recognise we're working and we're Ken, put us forward for an award is absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely over the moon. And now it's time for the big one, the one everybody's been waiting for. It's Master Builder of the Year time. And the prize, £20,000 from Nissan to put towards a commercial vehicle of their choice. The winner is about to be announced. Seven excellent builders, seven outstanding and very individual projects. Which one will be the 11th Master Builder of the Year. Um, the winner of the Master Builder of the Year 2012 title is 3W Development. <laughs> The F1 
FMV congratulates the 11th Master Builder of the Year, 3W Developments. They scooped the title for a complex project that transformed a two-bedroom dormer bungalow into a spacious family home, built on three levels to maximise the outstanding views for clients Carol and Graham Taylor. They're a family firm and Sam Whiting supervised on site every day, moving his office around as the build progressed. This gave him real insight into what living in the house would be like and offer advice how things should be cited to appreciate the view. 3W also drew in expert help such as lighting designers and heating engineers to help transform our ideas and concepts into reality. Working this way meant that we made our decisions early which helped keep the budget on track. We're both passionate about our work and we've been rewarded for what we believe in. Did you expect to win it, Sam? Um, I felt confident before we came because I know that we uh, did a good project. Um, and then I saw all the other people's stuff come up and I didn't think we had a, had a chance. Um, so when our name came up, I was blown away, really. Blown away. Yeah. What does it mean to have that award within the industry? I mean, obviously it's highly respected, isn't it? Do you think it'll make a difference to your future, to the future of your company? Um, I certainly think it might. It, sh it should make a difference. Um, hopefully, uh, prospective clients will see it as uh, that we're certainly recognised within the industry um, to win such a prestigious award. Um, so, with any luck and with some um, some photographs and publicity and stuff, that it might hopefully take us take us further, you know, and onto bigger and better things.